Okay, this is my SAM for the AC40. Okay, in order to turn on the machine, I would click the button that's over here, turning it on. The machine is already on because it does take a little bit to warm up. Um, in terms of selecting transducers, this here toggles between insert and headphones, uh, super oral headphones, um, so pressing that, and then the same here for the left one. This is the right button, this is the left one. Right now it's on super oral, and then change to insert. This one here is bone, right and left. And then this is speaker, or sound field. Um, so in order to present a stimulus, you would click this button here. You can go up or down to change the intensity. And then these buttons here, you go up and down to change the frequency. So we are currently on the right ear insert. And then at 500 hertz, I'm at 50. Present does a few beeps. And if I wanted to go up to 1000, I'm there and can present a few beeps. To select the stimulus type, we would go up here. Right now it is on tone. We could change to warble, especially if we are in sound field. And then up here, um, wave file that goes over to the speech section. And then mic one. And then here's narrow band noise or white noise. And I'm just going to go back to tone. Okay, and then displaying, this is on um, two displays right now. If I wanted to put it on uh, the audiograms overlapping each other, I would go to shift, or I would go to setup, sorry, setup. And then I would use my um, wheel here to go to show right and left in a single audiogram. I'd select it, and then I would go back. And then now they are overlapping. Uh, talk forward, I would use this, and then I can either use the microphone here, or if I can plug these in and use um, the microphone on here with the headsets, they'd be plugged in on this side, right over here, right over here. Um, to adjust the level, you would press and hold the top forward, and then you can adjust the intensity by moving this wheel here. Talk back, you can turn on and off right there so you can hear the patient. If you hold this one as well, you can change the level by um, turning this as well. Headset, you can... Like I said, plug these in over here, just like that, and use the microphone, or just like this with the mic right here. Okay. Hear tone average calculations. So that is 500. 1,000 and 2,000. So if I put here and press store, okay. go here, store, and that's at 30 dB at 500 hertz. Go up to 1,000 hertz, set it for 40 dB, and then go up to 2,000 and set it for 50 dB. It'll calculate it right there, saying that my PTA is 40, which that is accurate for this set of thresholds. And then if I wanted to change the increment level, right now it's on 5 dB. I could click here, it's on 1 dB now, or 2 dB, but we like it at 5 dB. In terms of the deleting points, you would just go here, delete point. If you wanted to delete the whole curve, you would press shift 
delete. And then delete the current curve. Yes. And then if I wanted to go to extended range, this only goes so high, but if I wanted to go higher than 100 dB, I would click the extended range and therefore I can go higher. Okay, for masking and presentation, I would use both sections here. So right now it's on insert and then we're on left insert as well. So on narrowband noise, And if I wanted them to go together, I would press sync and then they're going together. If I don't, then I'm doing one at a time on each side. So here, this one on the right that is presenting the tone, it's at 20 dB. And then this here, I have it at 35 for the masking. Turn it on and then present. And you could go up higher here and it shows it on the screen at either side of what level you are on. Okay, and then here it also shows if I wanted to do multiple beeps, it's on multiple or single, one long beep, multiple, multiple beeps. Here, this is continuous, so if this is on, this is continuous, that's manual, so you press it to turn it on. Okay. Um, response methods include the button. So if they were using the button, then um, it would show up on here as blinking when they press it. And then you could have them raise their hand or you could have them verbally say yes. Or some people, instead of raising their hand, they just raise a finger just like that. And then let's see erasing. I have already explained that, that you would go over here to delete the point or shift and then hold it to delete the whole, whole curve. And then accessing the speech material, you would click wave file and then it pops up and then you can t um, click list and choose your list as well as clicking type to click what type of test you are doing. So this is Fondy A and B type it was on multi-words and now I'm switching it just to words. And then I can choose my list and use 6A, uh, 1A, 2A, 3A, and that is it. And to go back to tones like before, just press tone. So for CPT codes, the most common codes are 92557, which is pure tone, air and bone, and speech audiometry, including SRT and WRS. Also uh, 92550, which is TIMPS and reflexes. And then there are other codes that if you break it down, it's break the testing down. Those are the codes such as 92552, which is just air conduction, or 92553, which is air and bone conduction.